but the next place I went to was like near Odessa and uh, and it's the Lincoln County this sort of like eastern central part of Washington uh, and super hot desert like grasslands like wheat fields and like nothing else just open to the sun so just roasting and I was like I love that spot but uh, as you go there you go through this place called Grand Coulee or Grand Coulee Dam which again you have to check it out it's like totally nuts there's like this giant dam with a lake above it and the city that's like they've somehow made it green and it's like desert setting it's nuts anyway you gotta check that out Grand Coulee Grand Coulee Dam nuts check it out on a sunny day when it's hot unbelievable blow your mind but I get down to like this Odessa country which is gonna be uh, Bureau of Land Management sites Coffee Pot Lake Twin Lakes Pacific Lake Pacific Lake's totally dried up that's where I stayed the first night and beautiful sunset on the wheat fields man like I was in heaven like I was back out of the forest I'm back to my open space my land I felt so good so I stayed at this spot called Pacific Lake and uh, super dry and you could not get out of the sun. The first day I did like a big hike and I was out in the sun for like 12 hours even though I had a, had a hat on. After one day I was covered in that layer of grime and salt and sweat again and I like knew I had to get out of the sun uh, for the next day. So for the next day I went into like the library. And actually I used the Wi-Fi at the hospital. They let me use the hospital Wi-Fi so I get out of the sun. Not because I had a medical issue but just because they said hey go for it whatever. I used that in the morning and then I went for a swim at the pool in Odessa in the afternoon that next day. And it was great, like, uh, nobody knew me at the pool. I was like this weirdo guy kind of in the background, like, in the shade and then in the pool and in the pool. Old people and, like, little kids. And watching the little kids, like, toss the football around. And kind of weird, like, because I'm a coach, I could kind of see, like, athletically, like, even at a young age, those who are really attuned to, like, athleticism and catching the football and, like, doing all these tricks. And the ones who are, like, more often imagination land. And I kind of, like, deduced some theories as to athleticism and where it comes from relative to the mental space as well. But anyway, that's what happens when you have too much time and you're on your own. So anyway, went back to my Pacific Lake site and then uh, the next day the library was open in Odessa. They're only open like one day a week or t two days a week. So I used the library and um, back with my Pacific Lake and then I switched um, to Coffee Pot Lake uh, later on in the week which is again actually had some water and that was gorgeous. I have some footage of that and more shade so it was a lot better. Should have been there right from the beginning. And there's a crater near there as well. And they had a bunch of craters, like these weird crater lakes that look just like kind of like dried out alkaline lakes. But there was one crater that actually looked like a crater. And so I got that on footage as well. Um, and then I went to this place called Harrington, which is closer to the coffee pot. It's even smaller than Odessa. The whole Lincoln County, like all those towns, only have 10,000 people total population. So Harrington has like 500. But it was like this total ghost town industrial, like, I don't know, just like broken down place but the library was cool there the lady gave me uh, two ice cream bars for free just because I guess I was talking to her and whatever they don't allow people to talk to there it was cool that was Harrington and then uh, next day I went back out to the coffee pot did this hike up to Twin Lakes and all this area this abandoned barn and stuff like that and then the, the final day I was there I went to um, the Odessa library again to get out of the sun the last day and I met up with these people Camille and Victoria and they invited me for dinner and I went to the house and it was crazy. They're really strong Christians, but like awesome people, even though I'm not a Christian. But it was, we had this really in-depth discussion and it actually like gave me a Bible and stuff. And uh, it, was, it was really cool. And it was, get, got crazy stormy that night too. So I was just hoping when I got back to my tent, it was together. It was all sheet lightning and stuff like that. It was okay. Um, and also the other thing I did in Odessa is I wandered around one day and I ended up at the track. And uh, it's a cinder track. And the record for like the sprints and the middle distance events are father-son. Like it's like you can see, it was crazy. It was really cool to see as well. So that land, man, I like love that so much. Uh, I'm just gonna check and see if I have anything else to say about it. But like that land, I feel so at home there. Oh yeah, I saw a rattlesnake. So I walked up this road at night and it jumped up and like hissed at me and rattled. And uh, and I just like, was kind of like laughing almost, but like of course jogged to the side of the road because I didn't want it to come get me. But that was the first time I ever saw like a rattlesnake like jump at me like that. Um, so yeah, that was Odessa and Harrington and Coffee Pot Lake, Pacific Lake, uh, Bureau of Land Management area. Um, in that Lincoln County area. 